Hey everybody, so I just got some stuff in the mail uh, to finish this gas tank that's behind me. I welded it all up, I got a hole cut in the top uh, so I can install this piece, which I don't really know what it's called, so we're going to call it the gas hole. Uh, and I also have a petcock bung. And so I'm going to weld all that stuff on there, and then afterwards I'm going to show you how to pressure test your tank using an old bicycle inner tube and a bike pump. Very easy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep everything. We have to clean all this stuff up, sand it down a little bit, make sure there's no like grease or oil or anything, or like old rust or marker marks and all that stuff. And then we're gonna just fit this tack it into place, make sure it all looks good, and then we'll just go around slowly to make sure it doesn't warp and get all wild and crazy on us. Um, so I'm gonna clean up the inside here. This stuff has a bunch of markers, uh, Sharpie marks all over it. Uh, from when I was lining up where I wanted this hole to go. And I just kind of winged it. I didn't really, didn't really measure much. I just drew two lines across so I got the center point and then I just do a vertical line between in the middle like I measured from edge to edge put a vertical line in the middle and then I just put the hole a little bit higher up from center um, so it wouldn't be directly in the middle. Uh, if you do things off-center intentionally then it won't look as bad when you mess up putting it in the middle. <laughs> so there's my tech tip for the day. Purposely do things messed up. I got all these bungs and stuff from Lowbrow. Uh, I got no affiliation with them, but if you use my code COOLGUY42069, you'll definitely get a discount of some sort when you order. Put it in the line in the bottom down there. <laughs> So one thing I'm going to talk about is I've seen folks mount these things sideways, like this, and I've seen folks mount them vertically, like that. Um, I don't really know what the right way is. Uh, looking at the wall over here, I have three tanks and two different ways that they're mounted. Um, so I don't know what the proper way is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap in and turn it so it's all the way tight. And then what I want is this vent hole right here at the top in the tank because this is a vented cap. Uh, I want that to be as high as possible so that way when I've got it in, the gas isn't sloshing on that vent hole and then leaking out all over my tank. Um, so what I'm doing is I put it like that so it's at the top. And so now I'm just going to unmark it. All right, it's, it's like this where this is at the top here. And so I'm going to unmark it, and so based on that method, you mount it vertically. Um, whether that's right or not, I have no idea, but that's what we're going to do this time. All right, so I got that tacked. Let's bring you in here and take a look. It's tacked in there. It's four spots. So now I'm just gonna weld it all the way around. So I'm not the best welder. I'm still learning TIG, but there it is. It's all done. And this is kind of, I guess, a close-up look of everything. Um, this all needs to be like, Ouch, that's still hot. This will all have 
a coat of Bondo to kind of smooth out any imperfections in the middle or little dents and stuff that happened while you were while I was making it and just to like smooth out this where I didn't didn't really finish it all the way but a, a little bit of Bondo will smooth that out and you'll never notice it all right so I've got this sitting on the bike right here uh, before I strapped it down I set the tank on there and I drew a little line with marker where I wanted the back of the tank to go so that way I knew where it wouldn't hit here when this turns I've got plenty of space so it looks like it's far back but it's actually it's about I've got like a, a quarter inch half inch of space before things hit so I can also change tanks if I need to um, I haven't put any mounts on the tank yet uh, but what we do need to do is figure out where this pet cock is going to go and it's kind of a tight fit down here so I'm going to pump the bike up and we're going to hold the pet cock up and see where it's going to go. Alright so let's talk pet cocks for a minute. Petcock's where the gas comes out, for those that don't know. Um, but I assume if you're watching this video, you probably know what a petcock is. Um, so they all mount on the bottom of the tank. Sometimes you'll see two little ones in the back with a connecting hose that connects between the two of them. Um, these, so this bike when it came, when I got it, had a, a weird like right angle plumbing piece and then a straight petcock that I, I replaced plugged into it. And I had to remove the uh, reservoir or the reserve tube from it. And so this is the one that was in there. And so it sat on the other side like this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm mounting this tank a little bit lower than the other one was. I had to move it up way up. And also it was a wider tank. So it was sitting a little bit further out. And you didn't have to deal with all of this, uh, this motor mounts business here. So I got another uh, right angle petcock. So this is how you can see the difference here is that gas comes out this side right here on a right angle one and gas comes down on a straight one. Um, and so this is the, it's an NPT mount thread, which is a pipe thread, which means it slowly tapers in. Um, and that's how they, they mount. They, it slowly tapers in. It's like at an angle, the, the, ta the, the threads and the, the piece, the mounting piece. Um, so you put, you put vinyl, uh, vinyl tape or whatever it's called, plumber's tape or putty or whatever you want to call it on there. And it, it mounts like this. And so I have to cut a hole in the tank for this guy, this petcock bung, to mount. And it's going to sit like this. And so what I want to make sure of is that wherever I mount it, it's not going to run into these mounts. Um, chances are I'll be able to get it without having to worry too much about it. Um, but if for some reason I can't get it, then I'll have to make new mounts here to like go, which is something I wanted to do anyways, but if I can avoid doing that right now, that'd be great. Um, but I think that I'll be able to get this to fit like right around here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a mark there, see if I can get it to fit, um, and I think it'll be all right. We'll see we'll see what happens here. This doesn't need to be an exact science. You're just drilling a hole here. Uh, I'm sure other people feel differently. There we go. Let's drill. All right, let's try that again. helps to use the right battery. Cool, I guess all my batteries are dead. Finally. All right, let's see if this thing Fits in there. Nope. <laughs> Voila. All right, so when you're welding these in, because they're a taper, I never really know 
how to weld it in if I should like screw this on mark where it starts to get tight and then do it like half a turn more because you want it to sit like that what I was thinking was like getting it so it starts to get snug putting it in and then facing it backwards because I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more to weld it in I don't know if that's the right way maybe someone else knows uh, you can leave a comment and let me know is there a right way to weld these things in I suspect that because it's a taper it doesn't really matter you can put a little more Teflon tape on the outside or on the inside and it'll it'll work either way so let's weld this tack this and then weld it all the way around and then we can pressure test it that's next All right, so let's talk about pressure testing for a minute here. Um, the point of pressure testing your gas tank is so that when you put gas in it, it doesn't have itty bitty little holes called pinholes where the gas can come out, ruin your paint, and you're just leaking gas everywhere. Um, every tank you get when you first get it, if before you paint it, you should pressure test it. Uh, usually they're pressure tested at the factory, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So the things we're going to be using is a bicycle inner tube. Um, you're just going to literally just cut a piece of it out here. So I've got a little piece here. And you can use a motorcycle inner tube too. Um, I find that bicycle inner tubes work really well because they're not as thick rubber so that you don't have to put as much pressure to see when you have pressure on them like usual. So you cut it. A piece out and then you cut it long way so you've got basically a piece of rubber and what you're gonna do is you're going to use a clamp and you're just gonna clamp it over the top of this thing um, the bigger the inner tube the better and so you just want to stretch it out over that and then you're gonna clamp it down I'll show you how it's clamped down in a minute uh, but you're gonna use two hose clamp or one big hose clamp to like clamp it on there and what that does is that seals the top and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your pet cock and you're going to get a bicycle pump and every bicycle pump has a head on it like this um, so they all almost all work the same way uh, where it's a little like a, a compression cap on the end that holds the cap on there so what you're going to do is you're going to take that guy off and then you're just going to take the hose of the bicycle pump and you're going to slide it over the end of your pet cock um, and you're going to mount your pet well you do this when it's mounted on the the tank you're going to mount your pet cock on the tank and then slide the hose over so this is a bicycle pump and you don't need very much pressure at all if you put too much pressure you're going to blow your tank up um, so i'll show you how this all works once i get it all mounted this was just to show you what i'm doing before i do it on the actual tank itself all right, so I've got, I ended up using a motorcycle tube, uh, even though I said a bicycle tube, but it's the same process. The bicycle tube just wasn't wide enough to get enough purchase with the clamp. Um, so clamped it down with a motorcycle tube. And then down here, I have the pet cock connected. And then I've got the, the bicycle pump, which is there, just pushed into the pet cock. And full disclosure, when I was building this tank, I was checking for welds with gravity just by filling it with water and looking for leaks. Um, and so there won't be too many. I had to weld this back piece here and weld that and the pet cock mount and that's it. And so what you're going to use is you're going to use some soapy water. Um, yeah. So what you're going to use is you're going to use some soapy water and you're going to pump the tube until you see... Uh, pump the bicycle pump until you see this tube kind of get a little bit of a bubble to it and it'll hold pressure that bubble will stay up um, and I'm going to pump it up right now so you can see and I know for a fact I have one leak because I can see it but this is a uh, I'll show you how you can see it with the soapy water if you can't hear it so you can see I'm pumping it up a little bit and so I just want a little bit of pressure in there so you can see that it's got pressure it's holding it that's pressure you don't need very much and so you get the soapy water and you run it along the seams and so you can see right there I'll wipe it off and then I'll put it back on there again and you can see there's at least one spot right there where there's bubbles popping up and so that's how you find them you find these little leaks and it looks like there's another one right here. There's two in this little section right here. And I knew that was going to be the case because I sanded it down a little bit too much. So 
So I got a couple little pinholes to chase down still. Uh, so I'm going to take care of those and then I'm going to put some tabs on this tank and mount it on the actual frame. I'll include the mounting of it in a, another video probably. Uh, probably when I'm building my forward controls. There's a lot of fabrication going on coming up. So thanks for joining me. Um, next video is going to have some more stuff in it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, leave comments if I'm doing something really wrong and you think I should be doing it another way. I'm always down to hear the things. This is how I just figured it out on my own. No one ever told me how to pressure test a tank. I just kind of figured it out. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next time.